Imagine waking up energized and ready to take on the world. You're more focused, more social, more you. What if this could be you every day? Introducing the Be A Smart Sleep Mask, the world's first neurofeedback sleep mask designed to help you measure, control, and improve your sleep so you can wake up ready to take on your day. It's time to get the best sleep you've ever had with the Be A Smart Sleep Mask. If you and your crew want to have a blast, head to the happiest place on earth, the Disneyland Resort. It's that place where you could be whatever you want to be. One minute you're flying the Millennium Falcon, the next you're strutting through Toontown with Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. So you better bring your A game when you come to the Disneyland Resort. And y'all can say, we came to play. Don't forget, you can't play without tickets and park reservations. So get yours today. Jay Leno wants to pick your next new car. This May, he's teaming up with Yamaha Resort and Casino at San Manuel to give away a 2024 Hummer EV. Starting May 1st, earn entries to qualifying Thursday drawings for a chance to advance to the finale on May 30th, where Jay Leno will hand over the keys to the Hummer EV. Only at Yamaha Resort and Casino, USA Today's number one best casino outside of Las Vegas. Details at Yamaha.com. Must be 21 to enter. Please gamble responsibly. Tired of multiple due dates, varying interest rates, or just the number of loans you're juggling? Skyla Credit Union's free credit card balance transfer might be the right fit for you. And when you open a new Skyla Visa credit card, you'll unlock 0% APR for the first 12 months, giving you more time to knock down your balance without accruing additional interest. Start a transfer today. Visit skylacu.com backslash iHeart. Qualification supply APR equals annual percentage rate rate subject to change insured by NCUA. It is time now for today's Strawberry Letter. And if you need advice on relationships, dating, work, sex, parenting, and more, please submit your Strawberry Letter to steveharveyfm.com. And who knows, we could be reading your Strawberry Letter. Just like we're going to read this one right here, right now. It could be yours. You never know. Yeah. Buckle up and hold on tight. We got it for you. Here it is. The strawberry letter. Subject, I fell in love with the cookie monster. Dear Stephen Shirley, in 2017, I met a handsome man at a nail salon. He stared at me the entire time, so I gave him my card as I left. He called and invited me to his apartment for dinner, and we've been together since that night. He's a big flirt and a bit too outgoing, and it's always bothered me. Two years ago, I started checking his phone, and he was always talking to different women. Whenever I called him a flirt, he would say he's a people person. He works long hours, and I don't get to see him every day, so that bothers me, too. We're friends on Facebook, but he's always said he didn't like Instagram. Well, I guess he changed his mind about it because uh, I found out he created a private Instagram account, and he had blocked me. I was so upset that I created a fake Instagram account, and I sent him a friend request. He let me follow him, and I started flirting with him in the DMs. I asked if he was married or dating anyone. He said he has someone special in his life, but it's an open relationship. I couldn't believe him. I started stalking his comments and I sent messages to women that left hearts emojis on his uh, pictures. I told them I was his wife. Four women responded and said they'd had sex with him within the past two years. I printed the messages and confronted him. He said it was all true. And he said that I may have assumed we were monogamous, but he has never told me that. Uh, he jokingly referred to himself as the cookie monster, and he was trying to get all the cookies he could before he settled down. He said he's in love with me despite how crazy I acted and he wants to marry me one day. Do you think the cookie monster is gone for good? Can I trust this man as my husband? Hmm. Is the cookie what? monster gone for good and can I trust this man as my husband, you ask? Well, can you trust him as a boyfriend now? Um, hmm. That's what you have to ask yourself. Uh, <laughs> I think the answer is no, uh, because right now he is who he is, a man who refers to himself as the cookie monster, trying to get all the cookies he can right now. I, I think the best thing about him that I can see is that he did come clean with you after you busted him. Uh, 
you know, about the women and everything. In this letter, though, you left out a lot, um, like how much time passed from when he called you and when you went to his apartment for dinner. You also didn't say if you guys had sex that night. I'm, I'm assuming you did. You say, you know, he told you one of his entanglements that... Uh, you know, one of them that you were special. He did have someone special in his life, but it was an open relationship. You didn't know anything about this being an open relationship. And how's that for feeling special? You didn't even know anything. He didn't say this to you. I think you started with him too fast. I don't think you set any boundaries with him. So he just put you in the open category um, while you looked at him as your man. But he's everybody's man, it seems. Uh, you know, he's trying to get all the cookies he can. That's what he said. So, you know, tell him how you feel and what you want. And if you, if you don't get that, maybe you need to leave the cookie monster. I certainly think you deserve better, but you got to let him know it. Steve? Well, ma'am, that wrote this letter, if you had read your letter as you <laughs> wrote it, you to answer these questions yourself. The number one question is, can I trust this man as my husband? What are you talking about husband for? How? How did you get there? So let me let me show you something. Man was staring at you while you was getting your nails. So afterwards, you gave him your card. Uh, as I left, he called me and invited me to his apartment for dinner. Okay, you left. He called you the next day. This is all this is, Shirley. I this know. ain't no time went by. I know. He called me, invited you to his apartment for dinner. You go over a man's house you don't know, and we have been together since that night. Well, something had to go down that night to seal the deal. They had sex because they've been together since that night. Right. Well, he's a big flirt and a big two outgoing, and it's always bothered me. Why are we talking about this man being your husband? <laughs> two years ago, I started checking his phone, and he's always talking to different women. Why are we talking about this man being your husband? And then your question is, can I trust this man as my husband? He's always talking to different women. Whenever I call him a flirt, he would say he's a people person. Can you trust him? You know he's a flirt. He tells you he's a people person. Why are you talking about making this man your husband? He works long hours. I don't get to see him every day, so that bothers me too. We friends on Facebook, but he always said he didn't like Instagram. Well, I guess he changed his mind because I found out he created a fake, a private Instagram account, and he has blocked me. Let's go back to the bottom of the letter. Can I trust this man as my husband? He done created a private page and done blocked you. <laughs> Can I trust this man as my husband? Why did you write? Why are you asking this question? We come back. I'm going to tell you the rest of it. I promise you. All right. Thank you, Steve. It's just we'll have part two of your response coming up at 23 minutes after the hour. Oh, it's going to be more to say. I know. <laughs> Subject, I fell in love with the cookie monster. We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hey, ladies, it's Shirley Strawberry. May is High Blood Pressure Education Month. It's crucial for us, especially as black women, to focus on our heart health. We pour our heart and soul into every aspect of our lives, but often our own health takes a back seat. That's where Release the Pressure comes in. It's all about us. Black women sing self-care as an essential act of self-preservation. Whether it's for yourself, your family, or our community, your health is invaluable. Let's help get to our goal of 100,000 black women putting their hearts first and learn more about their heart health. Here's how you can join in. Head over to iHeartRadio.com slash RTP for official rules and a chance to receive a $1,000 gift card to take care of yourself and prioritize your heart health. Let's make our health a priority. Visit iHeartRadio.com slash RTP today. Together, we can make a difference in our health and our lives. 
Join us and let's take care of our hearts together. Black representation is so important, it lets you know you can dream and realize those dreams. The next generation of influential black voices can be found on NPR's new collection, Black Stories, Black Truths. Black Stories, Black Truths is a celebration of blackness from NPR. Each of NPR's black voices are as distinct, varied, and nuanced as the black experience itself. In the Black Stories, Black Truths collection, you'll hear stories of joy, resilience, empowerment, and creating world-shifting things out of struggle. Every episode is a living account about what it means to be black today, told from a unique black perspective. From Bobby Shmurda to The Wire, Michelle Obama to reparations, there's no limit to the range of Black Stories, Black Truths. Black perspectives haven't always been centered in the telling of America's story. Now they are the story. And NPR's Black Stories, Black Truths, you'll find a collection of some of NPR's best podcast episodes celebrating the Black experience. Hear a feed of episodes from across NPR's podcasts that center Black voices. It's NPR Noir. Listen now to Black Stories, Black Truths from NPR wherever you get podcasts. Jay Leno wants to pick your next new car. This May, he's teaming up with Yamaha Resort and Casino at San Manuel to give away a 2024 Hummer EV. Starting May 1st, earn entries to qualifying Thursday drawings for a chance to advance to the finale on May 30th, where Jay Leno will hand over the keys to the Hummer EV. Only at Yamaha Resort and Casino, USA Today's number one best casino outside of Las Vegas. Details at Yamaha.com. Must be 21 to enter. Please gamble responsibly. Ready to see what your money can do? Skyla Credit Union's Financial Wellness Center offers three free tools to help you better understand and manage your finances. Use spending analysis to visualize spending habits, build budgets, and plan ahead. Create custom savings goals and receive progress reports with gentle reminders along the way. Or take a simple quiz on your spending, saving, and borrowing patterns for personalized coaching and resources. Ready to get back in control? Learn more at skylacu.com backslash iHeart. Federally insured by NCUA. All right, Steve, come on. Let's recap today's Strawberry Letter subject. I fell in love with the Cookie Monster. This woman wants to know if we think that the Cookie Monster is gone for good. Then the next question is, can I trust this man? Then her statement was, as my husband. And I've showed you all through the letter why you can't trust or why you want to make him your husband. Uh, You gave this man your card after he was staring at you in the nail salon. He invited you to his apartment for dinner. And y'all been together ever since that night, which means you had sex and you've been with him ever since. He's a big flirt and a bit too outgoing, and it's always bothered me. So why are you talking about making him your husband? Two years ago, I started checking his phone, and he's always talking to different women. Okay, your question is, how can I trust this man as my husband? Right now, you can't trust him or don't look like you're going to make him your husband. Whenever I called him a flirt, he would say he's a people person. Well, that's good. He changed the title of that right quick. But why are you talking about making him your husband? He works long hours. I don't get to see him every day, so that bothers me, too. We friends on Facebook, but he's always said he didn't like Instagram. I guess he changed his mind about it because I found out he created a private page, and he has blocked me. Why do you think you can trust him with the private page and then blocked you? Why? Why are you even talking about this man being your husband? So I was upset. You created a fake Instagram account, sent him a friend request. He let me follow him, and I started flooding with him in the DMs right there. He asked if he was married or dating anyone. He said he has someone special in his life. This line should have gave you plenty of hope. But it's an open relationship. Well, he snatched that rug right back out under your feet. (laughs) Thought you had something. No, you don't. (laughs) I couldn't believe him. I started stalking his comments. And then you sent messages to women. You had to stalk his comments. And this is a man you want to know if you could trust or make your husband. I sent messages to several women that left uh, hearts and emojis on his pictures. I told him I was his wife. Four women responded and said they'd had sex with him within the past two years. These are the same two years you was dating him after you slept with him the first night. Right? So now the whole time he didn't have four other women. That's four that you know about. I printed the message, confronted him. He said it was all true. And he said that I may have assumed we were monogamous, 
but he has never told me that. So why are you asking me and Shirley, can I trust this man as my husband when you can't trust him as your boyfriend? If you can't trust him as your boyfriend, why are you talking about going this any further? He jokingly referred to himself as a cookie monster, and he was trying to get all the cookies he could before he settled down. Okay. When, and I guess he'll notify you when that's going to happen, too. Because right? he didn't tell you nothing about the other women and all this here, right? Now watch this here. He said he's in love with me despite how, despite how crazy I am I acting. And he wants to marry me one day. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a hold em, that That's a pretty good hold em line. I want to marry you one day. So that'll give you enough to hang on, right? Mm-hmm. Do you think the Cookie Monster is gone for good? Well, let me ask you something. Did he tell you that the Cookie Monster was gone? Because I didn't hear that in the letter. Did he say that? Everything else he said, he said he didn't like Instagram. He had a fake page. And now he's telling you that he want all the cookies he can get. And you still want to know if you can trust him and make him your husband. No, the cookie man ain't gone. And of course, he said he wanted to marry you. That's to hold you. Lady, pull yourself together. I got you got two years invested, but I tell women all this time, you might have two years invested. You got two more years to waste. Quit trying to measure everything with how much time you got invested and ask yourself, how much more time do I have in this type of mess that you obviously don't agree with? No, the cookie monster ain't gone. He didn't tell you he was just like he didn't tell you. See, you thought you was in a monogamous relationship, but he said, I never told you that. He didn't tell you he had a fake account either. He didn't tell you he had screwed four women in two years that you found out about. He ain't told you nothing. Mm-hmm. What he did tell you that he's a people person. You called him a flirt. He quickly changed that because he don't like that. I'm a people person. <laughs> I like people, especially women. <laughs> yeah, I like people. I'm trying to get all the cookie I can before yeah. I settle down. <laughs> well, he ain't told you when he was going to settle down either, did he? You're in a crazy-ass relationship for two years. You don't have something you think you have, man. Mm-hmm. You don't have a monogamous relationship. You don't have a man you can trust. And you want a man that told you he wants to marry you, but he ain't told you when that would be. Lady. Okay. That's all I got for you. Anybody want to ask something? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they take no, all no. that to find out if he is uh, trustworthy and something wrong with you. You kept finding out yeah. stuff and you stayed. Yeah. And he's yeah. steady. Yeah. Yeah. How many cookies you think he got in the cookie jar? How many? Oh, he got, it's he got his hand, uh, his hand all down at the bottom of the cookie jar. <laughs> all kinds of cookies. He got cookie crumbs all under his fingernails. Mm-hmm. Chocolate chip, peanut butter, mm. pecan sandies, vanilla cream, Oreo cookies. Yeah. Oh yeah, he like all that. <laughs> like all that. <laughs> all right. Uh, thanks, Steve. That little wheatmeal you, cookie. Thanks. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Am I doing the right thing with my finances? Am I saving enough? Can I buy a house? Am I paying too much in taxes? Will I be able to retire? Putting a financial plan together feels impossible. What if I told you there was another way? Take Facet's free financial wellness quiz to get your score and a snapshot of your current financial health. Visit facet.com now and discover your financial wellness score today. That's F-A-C-E-T dot com. This ad is sponsored by Facet. Facet Wealth Incorporated is an SEC registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities, nor is it investment, legal, or tax advice. Imagine waking up energized and ready to take on the world. You're more focused, more social, more you. What if this could be you every day? Introducing the Be a Smart Sleep Mask, the world's first neurofeedback sleep mask designed to help you measure, control, and improve your sleep so you can wake up ready to take on your day. It's time to get the best sleep you've ever had with the Be a Smart Sleep Mask. Hey ladies, it's Shirley Strawberry. As women, we put our hearts into everything. May is High Blood Pressure Education Month, and it's time to focus on our heart health. Release the Pressure wants to help black women look at self-care as an act of self-preservation. During High Blood Pressure Education Month, let's help get our goal of 100,000 black women putting their hearts first and learn more about their heart health. Visit iHeartRadio.com slash RTP 
for official rules and a chance to receive a $1,000 gift card to take care of yourself and prioritize your heart health. That's iHeartRadio.com slash RTP. Powerful. It's hard to imagine the power of Mother Nature. Dangerous. You cannot outswim this. You cannot outrun it. Impossible to ignore. Go inside the natural disasters that are changing our world. We have the ability to control so much in our lives. You still can't control Mother Nature. The CNN original series, Violent Earth, with Liev Schreiber. Premier Sunday, June 2nd at 9 on CNN. Imagine waking up energized and ready to take on the world. You're more focused, more social, more you. What if this could be you every day? Introducing the Be A Smart Sleep Mask, the world's first neurofeedback sleep mask designed to help you measure, control, and improve your sleep so you can wake up ready to take on your day. It's time to get the best sleep you've ever had with the Be A Smart Sleep Mask. Jay Leno wants to pick your next new car. This May, he's teaming up with Yamaha Resort and Casino at San Manuel to give away a 2024 Hummer EV. Starting May 1st, earn entries to qualifying Thursday drawings for a chance to advance to the finale on May 30th, where Jay Leno will hand over the keys to the Hummer EV. Only at Yamaha Resort and Casino, USA Today's number one best casino outside of Las Vegas. Details at Yamaha.com. Must be 21 to enter. Please gamble responsibly. If you and your crew want to have a blast, head to the happiest place on Earth, the Disneyland Resort. It's that place where you could be whatever you want to be. One minute you're flying the Millennium Falcon, the next you're strutting through Toontown with Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. So you better bring your A-game when you come to the Disneyland Resort. And y'all can say, we came to play. Don't forget, you can't play without tickets and park reservations, so get yours today. Hey, do you want to work in healthcare? My friends at Northwest College can train you to become a nurse, medical assistant, dental assistant, medical biller, surgical technologist, pharmacy tech, and more. Northwest College offers hands-on training programs with day and evening classes. Call Northwest College today at 844-NEW-CAREER. That's 844-NEW-CAREER. Or go online to nw.edu. All right, time now for today's Strawberry Letter. And listen, if you need advice on sex, on work, on dating, on parenting, relationships, and more, please submit your Strawberry Letter to steveharveyfm.com and click Submit Strawberry Letter. We could be reading your letter live on the air, just like we're going to read this one right here. Hear that right now. It could be yours. You never know. You never know these letters. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Strawberry Letter with my good friend, Shirley Strawberry. All right. Thank you, Junior. In for Tommy. Subject, um, he left the restaurant with his wife. Okay. Uh, Dear Stephen Shirley, I was dating Mr. Wright for almost one year, and we got a condo together and looked at rings together. He's a physician, and his practice is about an hour from where our condo is. We dated publicly, and I met all his friends and his sister. He never gave me any reason to suspect that he was married. He is an avid golfer in his spare time, and he usually stays at the resort where he golfs on the weekend. Again, I had no idea that he was married since he spends most nights with me and a few nights in the city where his medical practice is. Two weeks ago, he decided we'd go to the wharf and have a nice dinner with another couple. I got excited because I thought he might be ready to propose. We'd never been to this restaurant before, but when we got there, all the waiters and staff there greeted him and called him by name. We sat in a private room and my stomach was in knots the whole time because I thought tonight was the night. As we got to dessert and had had a few cocktails, the door opened and a woman walked in wearing sweats and a bonnet. She said thanks to the waiter and she walked toward us. 
Uh, she came to our table and asked my man to get up and come with her. My man smiled at me and squeezed my hand under the table before he got up. He asked the other guy to handle the check and make sure I got home safely. I jumped up and asked what was going on. The woman advised me to sit back down and enjoy the rest of my evening. <laughs> my man didn't even look my way. I sat down and the woman at the table told me that that was Jim's wife. Well, Jim and I have created a life together and he hasn't reached out to me in almost two weeks. What do I do now? Okay, I think you already know the answer to this. You don't have many choices here. You really don't. Uh, but the one thing you have to do is pick up the pieces and, and try to get your life back on track. You got to move on. You have to. I mean, this man is married, plain and simple. His friends know it. Obviously, the waiters at the restaurant knows it. Uh, know it. He knows it. He just didn't tell you. You were the only one in the dark. And for almost a year, he was able to keep this going. How did you guys get a condo together? without you knowing this. You looked at rings. He didn't buy your ring, but you looked at rings together. Um, you know, obviously he has money. He's a doctor. Um, so what he's doing is staying with you and, you know, some of those nights when he stays with you. But the other nights, he's with his wife, obviously. I, I guess they're still together because she certainly thought they did. They were. All the waiters knew her as well. So what do you do now? Like I said, Pick up those pieces, start to move on with your life. This man has not reached out to you in almost two weeks. The last thing you heard from him is when he squeezed your hand under the table and told his friend to make sure you got home safely. Well, his friend did that. It's no use in trying to chase after this guy. It, it really isn't. He's got a wife. You don't need all that. You need to figure out... Um, uh, about the situation with this condo. Is his name on it? Is your name on it? Can you stay there? Can you sell it and get something else? That's what you need to be concentrating on right now. Steve? All right. <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> this main right here. Now, y'all, what I'm about to share with y'all is I know exactly what happened in this. Movie. Okay. Uh huh. I know all the inside, I know what he said. I know he said how he set it up. I play golf. I know. I know how he designed this whole thing. What I'm oh, going to reveal to you. Back and forth. I ain't gonna do it right now. But when we come back, <laughs> I just want to set y'all up. Now I want to apologize to the men that's listening. Uh oh. Okay. Why? Already. Why? Good stuff. why? Because I'm going to expose mm -hmm. Good stuff. the intricacies of how this is all set up. Turn my mic on. Cause this is a setup. Oh. And I know every move in here. No, see, Shirley, you don't you don't understand. No, see, you thinking he's a liar and a cheater. But you don't know how the setup has happened. Because in his mind, his friend's mind, and her mind, all this is going down based on the setup. See, it's the setup. You keep forgetting. Remember now, when we get to the part where they were in a private room at a restaurant where they knew his name, uh, mm -hmm. there's a reason for that. Mm -hmm. And the reason his friends were there uh, mm -hmm. with other women is because right. they know too. Because they're all liars and cheaters. So they all That's know. That's it, Shirley. Shirley. They all know. That is See, it. This you ain't don't complicated. Know. <laughs> You don't know. Why did the woman so calmly say to her, that's Jim's wife? Uh -huh. Because the women are in on it, too. Right. I get that. But on the they're lie. In they're in on, on the it. lying and the cheating. No, no. Yeah. They're in on the setup. Uh, okay. See, you, y'all keep looking at this too damn basic. It's <laughs> way more complicated than that. <laughs> is it really? Oh, no, when not. I walk you through it. Shirley. Okay. You don't know the game. Okay. <laughs> but when we come back. I know a liar. <laughs> I'm going to tell it to you. Now. <laughs> Just hold on. We'll have part right. two of your response coming up in 20 no, minutes. No, you're going to part one of my response. <laughs> 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 this is a mess. Subject, he Girl. left the restaurant with his wife. We'll get back into it right after this. You're listening 
to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hey ladies, it's Shirley Strawberry. May is High Blood Pressure Education Month. It's crucial for us, especially as black women, to focus on our heart health. We pour our heart and soul into every aspect of our lives, but often our own health takes a back seat. That's where Release the Pressure comes in. It's all about us. Black women sing self-care as an essential act of self-preservation. Whether it's for yourself, your family, or our community, your health is invaluable. Let's help get to our goal of 100,000 black women putting their hearts first and learn more about their heart health. Here's how you can join in. Head over to iHeartRadio.com slash RTP for official rules and a chance to receive a $1,000 gift card to take care of yourself and prioritize your heart health. Let's make our health a priority. Visit iHeartRadio.com slash RTP today. Together we can make a difference in our health and our lives. Join us and let's take care of our hearts together. Black representation is so important. It lets you know you can dream and realize those dreams. The next generation of influential black voices can be found on NPR's new collection, Black Stories, Black Truths. Black Stories, Black Truths is a celebration of blackness from NPR. Each of NPR's black voices are as distinct, varied, and nuanced as the black experience itself. In the Black Stories, Black Truths collection, you'll hear stories of joy, resilience, empowerment, and creating world-shifting things out of struggle. Every episode is a living account about what it means to be black today, told from a unique black perspective. From Bobby Shmurda to The Wire, Michelle Obama to Reparations, there's no limit to the range of Black Stories, Black Truths. Black perspectives haven't always been centered in the telling of America's story. Now they are the story. And NPR's Black Stories, Black Truths, you'll find a collection of some of NPR's best podcast episodes celebrating the Black experience. Here are a feed of episodes from across NPR's podcasts that center Black voices. It's NPR Noir. Listen now to Black Stories, Black Truths from NPR wherever you get podcasts. Jay Leno wants to pick your next new car. This May, he's teaming up with Yamaha Resort and Casino at San Manuel to give away a 2024 Hummer EV. Starting May 1st, earn entries to qualifying Thursday drawings for a chance to advance to the finale on May 30th, where Jay Leno will hand over the keys to the Hummer EV. Only at Yamaha Resort and Casino, USA Today's number one best casino outside of Las Vegas. Details at Yamaha.com. Must be 21 to enter. Please gamble responsibly. When the Taliban banned music in Afghanistan, millions were plunged into silence. Radios were smashed. Cassettes burned. You could be beaten or jailed or killed for breaking the rules. And yet, Afghans did it anyway. This is the story of how a group of people brought music back to Afghanistan by creating their own version of American Idol. The danger they endured. They said my head should be cut off. The joy they brought to the nation. You're free completely. No one is there to destroy you. I'm John Legend. Listen to Afghan Star on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Shopping for life insurance can be daunting, but Globe Life makes it easy. There's no medical exam, just a simple application that can be completed in a few short minutes. Globe Life also has a fast approval process and coverage amounts of up to $100,000. Call Globe Life today for a quick free quote at 1-800-251-5400 or go to globeliferadio.com. Again, that's 1-800-251-5400. All right, come on, Steve. Let's recap today's strawberry letter. The su- the subject he left the restaurant with his wife. He left mm-hmm. the restaurant with his wife. Yeah. Who else he supposed to leave the restaurant with? <laughs> we read this letter. He didn't go in with his wife. No, but let me tell you why. <laughs> Dear Stephen Shirley, I was dating Mr. Wright for almost a year. We got a condo together and look for rings together. The reason you got a condo together is the following line. He's a physician, and his practice is about an hour from where our condo is. 
So now, his practice is also in the same area that his wife and family lives in. <laughs> he got the condo because he's telling you it's an hour away from his practice, which you've never been to, by the way, which may not really be an hour away. See, you've never been there. Now, he's a physician. He's practiced about an hour away from where our condo is. We dated publicly, and I met all of his friends and sister. The reason you dated publicly is because he has told his friends and his family that he and his wife are having difficulties. They are struggling. And he told them that that's why his friends and sisters has been looped in. He never gave me any reason to suspect that he was married. No, he didn't tell you he was married because he was planning on it all going away eventually. He is an avid golfer in his spare time, and he usually stays at the resort where he golfs on the weekend. What? Boy, let me tell you something. First of all, you get a golf membership within the city confines of where you stay. So if you're a doctor within the city confines of where you stay, you can get to your practice and you can get to your love of golf by just driving from your house. Don't nobody stay at the damn golf resort while they play golf. No, And once again, you've never been to the golf resort because he focuses on his game because he's an avid golfer. He is not at the golf course spending the night. He is at home with the wife that he's having trouble with. So now, again, I had no idea. Again, I had no idea that he was married since he spends most nights with me. He spends the night with you because he told his wife that he gets calls in the middle of the night and he'd rather be closer to the hospital than to be at home. And since they having trouble, they, they're okay with that. She knows about another place. She just don't know you in it. See, y'all, listen to my setup, ladies. Two weeks ago, we decided to go to the wharf, the wharf, and have a nice dinner with another couple. Another couple, just one. I got excited because I thought he might be ready to propose. We'd never been to this restaurant before, but when we got there, all the waiters and staff there greeted him and called him by name. You know, doctors got stuff like that, you know, famous people. We sat in a private room and my stomach was in knots the whole time. Yeah, because you ain't know what the hell's been happen. Your stomach was in knots because what you thought was going to happen. Right. You, your st and your stomach were really in knots in a minute, though. <laughs> Because <laughs> I thought tonight was the night. As we got dessert and had had a few cocktails, the door opened and a woman walked in wearing sweats and a bonnet. She said thanks to the waiter and she walked towards us. She came to our table. Mm -hmm. Now, you're in a private room now. <laughs> Two tables in here. Hey, a lot of tables in private room. Yeah, obviously, you don't know nothing about no private rooms. All this is exciting for you. She came to our table and asked my man to get up and come with her. My man smiled at me, squeezed my hand under the table before he got up. He asked the other guy to handle the check, which is his boy, who knows what the deal is, and to make sure I got home safely. Because he doctors, a physician, they ain't going to make no fool out they self in here. Now, the wife ain't going to tear the restaurant up because she's she, they know them there. They yeah. come there often. Bonnet. But she got a bonnet on. She just came up out the house. <laughs> now, Monique, Monique, the comedian, done told her about coming out like that. <laughs> Monique told y'all. Don't be coming up here like this here. But that's just and, a fly, and not to said, handle this business. said it with love. But yeah. now, when you come out the door mad, you're going to yes. you know, you, nah, you know, forget what Monique said. Well, anyway, here we is. Got a bonnet on and a track suit. Mm -hmm. And the bottom don't match the top because she got dressed right quick. <laughs> 
My man yeah. smiled at me, squeezed my hand on the table before he got up. He asked the other guy to handle the check. Hey, man, handle the check for a minute. Make sure she get home safely. I jumped up and asked what was going on. The woman advised me to okay, sit back sit down. Right now. See, this is a physician's wife. Hey, in a bonnet, sit in your a... ass yes. back down. She didn't advise you. She said, sit down before you get put down. All right. We'll be back with part three of the strawberry letter for today. Uh -oh. <laughs> he left the restaurant with his wife. <laughs> what is he? He's a liar. He's a cheater. Yes. <laughs> It's simple. <laughs> we'll be back with more of the Steve Harvey Morning Show right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Here we go with part three of today's strawberry letter. The subject is he left the restaurant with his wife. It really should just be he's a liar and a cheater, Steve. I don't get it. <laughs> the setup man left an important piece of information out of this setup, and I will show you why the whole fiasco has crumbled around him because of one gaping mistake. Uh, he got a condo with this woman because he didn't told his wife he needs to be closer to the hospital. His wife and I, they've been arguing, having some troubles. They do have some problems in the marriage, but that's common. A lot of marriages do. That's no reason to cheat and get another place. But he got the place, but he decided to get the place with a girl. So he got the place with the girl, never told his wife where it was, just his closer. And then uh, they dated publicly, he met all his friends and his sister because he didn't told family and friends they on the outs he's tired of her she's demanding they're on the outs he's looking he wants to be happy so all of them is okay because he's the physician he's been providing for the family for a number of years so they ain't finna dog him out and then his friends just believe whatever he say because they his boy he's an avid golfer in his spare time and he usually stays at the resort where he golfs on the weekend that's not true no one gets a golf membership in a town way away from where they stay or they gotta go spend the night. You go play golf, you have drinks at the 19th hole with your buddies, you take your ass home. So every weekend, he's at home with his wife because she knows he doesn't have practice during the weekend. So now his wife thinks he's just coming home and during the week when he spend the night at his condo, it's going to be closer to the hospital. Da, 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 da. I had no idea he was married since he spent most of his nights uh, uh, where he's in the medical practice. Is. Two weeks ago, he decided to go to the wharf and I have a nice dinner with another couple. Got excited because he thought he was going to marry. They sitting there having dinner. A woman walks in with a bonnet and a track suit, tells him to get up and come with her. He squeezes her hand under the table, smiles at her, tell the dude, hey man, make sure she get home safe and uh, pay the check. I got up and said, hey, what's going on? She advised me to sit back down. She said, if you don't sit your black ass back down, you ain't going to see tomorrow. Garden too. That's what she said. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know she I did. sat back down and a woman at the table told me that was Jim's wife. Well, Jim and I have created life together and he hasn't reached out to me in almost two weeks. What do I do now? The, the roost is over. The fiasco has fallen apart. And the only reason it fell apart that night was because the dumbass physician <laughs> took you to a restaurant that he frequents often and everybody know him and know his wife. And one of the waiters and the waitresses <laughs> called his wife and said, your damn husband down here with another woman. She got dressed right quick, came down there, and you lucky. She didn't whoop your ass. Thank the you. only reason you like this letter is because it's about <laughs> golf, too. <laughs> oh, I had a lot we'll to be, use. We'll be back oh, with man. more of the Steve Harvey Morning Show at the top of the hour right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Imagine waking up from the most rejuvenating sleep you've ever had. You perform better, react faster, make fewer mistakes. What if this could be you every day? Introducing the Be A Smart Sleep Mask, the world's first neurofeedback sleep mask designed to help you fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up refreshed. It is time to get the best sleep you've ever had with the Be A Smart Sleep Mask. 
Does money stress you out? Let Facet flip your financial chaos into clarity. Finding Facet immediately put us at ease. Facet's innovative approach to financial planning ensures your money works as hard as you do, enabling members to experience the joys of having your finances in order. That makes us Facet for life now, I guess. (laughs) Visit Facet.com, F-A-C-E-T.com to learn more. This ad is sponsored by Facet. Facet Wealth is an SEC-registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities, nor is it investment, legal, or tax advice. These testimonials are from current Facet members who are not compensated. All opinions are their own and not a guarantee of a similar outcome. This is the story of how a group of people brought music back to Afghanistan by creating their own version of American Idol. The joy they brought to the nation. You're free completely. No one is there to destroy you. The danger they endured. They said my head should be cut off. I'm John Legend. Listen to Afghan Star on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, LA fans, it's Max Muncy. It's time to strike out illegal dumping. Strike free, you're up! Dump trash and bulky items on our streets? That's not how we play ball. Be a team player. Call your waste hauler for bulky item pickups. Together, let's knock out illegal dumping out of the park. Remember, if you see it, report it. Call 888-CLEAN-LA, 888-CLEAN-LA, or visit cleanla.com for more info. Brought to you by the County of Los Angeles. Visit cleanla.com. A message from LA County Public Works. Everyone in our country has a voice. It's something that says not just where you come from, but who you are. Welcome to NPR's Black Stories, Black Truths, a collection of podcasts and a celebration of the hosts in journalism who've always spoken truth to power. Our voices are as varied, nuanced, and dynamic as the Black experience, and stories should never be about us without us. Find NPR Black Stories, Black Truths on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, everyone. I'm Jackie Goldschneider from The Real Housewives of New Jersey. And I'm Jennifer Fessler, also from The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Welcome to our new podcast, Two Two Jersey Jersey Jays. We are going to have lots of fun on this podcast while we discuss what it's really like to be a real housewife and all the drama that comes with it. Follow us as we navigate family, friendships, and even for enemies. Listen to Two Jersey Jays on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. It's Rachel Levis, host of the new podcast, Rachel Goes Rogue. This podcast is about choosing my own path and standing in my power. I have been involved with one of the biggest scandals in reality television history. We're going to get into all of it. The good, the bad, the ugly. I've been keeping secrets for far too long, and I just want to come clean. Listen to Rachel Goes Rogue on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. It's a Wonderful Life is one of the most popular movies ever, but it has more to offer you than you ever thought. You know how long it takes a working man to save $5,000? In this world where there's a lot of hopelessness, people need this movie. George Bailey was never born. Join the many partaking in this one-of-a-kind podcast experience. Listen to all 10 episodes available now on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. SaveGeorgeBailey.com. Subscribe now. It is time now for today's Strawberry Letter. And if you need advice on relationships, dating, work, sex, parenting, and more, please submit your Strawberry Letter to steveharveyfm.com and click Submit Strawberry Letter. We could be reading your letter live on the air, just like we're going to read this one right here, right now. And you never know, this one right here could be yours. It could be yours. Buckle up and hold on tight. We got it for you. Here it is. Strawberry Letter. Thank you, nephew. Subject, let's stay at your house tonight. Dear Stephen Shirley, I'm 31 years old and my boyfriend and I have been together for eight months. We live almost an hour apart, so he gradually started staying at my house for days at a time. I just let it happen because it was cold outside and I wanted to cuddle. He lives in the house he grew up in with his sister. His parents moved back to their hometown and left the house to his sister, but she couldn't afford the upkeep. So he is living with her. I've stayed overnight there a few times, but there is no real privacy with his sister there. In the past few days, I have switched things up and I asked if we could stay at his house. Here's why. 
His sister posted a video in her close friend stories on Instagram, and it was her, my boyfriend, and a girl he used to have sex with before he met me. He got drunk one night and pointed her out to me, and I never forget a face. In the video, his sister was shouting, quote, my roomies, and uh, they, they were at the house toasting with champagne. Now when I ask to spend the night at his house, he gets irritated, and I think something's up. So again, today, I said to him, let's stay at your house tonight. He lied and said he hates his mattress and he has to get another one before I stay at his house again. He must think I'm slow. I found the video by snooping on his phone, so I cannot come right out and ask about the girl. I don't want him to know I'm going through his things, so how should I ask him if that girl is his ex-sex partner? I could be mistaken, but why won't he let me stay there? And why didn't he tell me a female lives with him, period, with them, period? Um, okay, uh, you started this by um, letting him stay at your house because it was cold outside and you wanted to cuddle. Um, you should have gotten all the information you're asking us for now, eight months ago. Uh, questions like, are you married? Do you live with someone? Are you seeing someone? Those are important questions that you sh you could ask while cuddling. Um, you need to know these things before you guys even start sleeping together. Then you can decide what you want to do based on what you know about him and his situation. Because if you don't ask, they're not going to tell you. They're not going to tell you this the thing is though you have you have stayed at his house before i don't get that part this is confusing what you're asking why can't you stay at his house when you've already stayed there uh listen you just gotta ask him what you want to know what are you afraid of i mean i don't get that just ask him do you live with someone is she you know ask him again he's not going to volunteer any information to you you got to get it yourself. Steve? Well, 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 well. Here we go again. Uh, here's a problem. Uh, 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 you know, like Shirley said, you're asking a lot of these questions after the fact. It's what you want us to do. But let me just go on and help you real quick. This ain't going to take long. I may do a reenactment or something. Mm -hmm. But this uh, this letter really gets down. It ain't about nothing till you get to the end. You've been dating this guy for eight months. You don't really know him. Y'all stay about an hour apart. So he started staying at your house more and more. You said you let it happen because it was cold outside and you wanted to cut him. All right, cool. He lived in a house he grew up in with his sisters. Mother and them left it to him. You know, moved out of town or something. And you said you stayed overnight there a few times, but there's no real privacy with his sister there. Okay, you ain't noticed nobody else? <laughs> when you were staying over there at the house a few times, you ain't noticed another bedroom? You ain't... You ain't see the uh, a couple coffee mugs on the counter. You didn't. You ain't see no signs of another female. Most women can smell out another female. How you didn't in your several trips spending the night is beyond me. But obviously, you don't pay attention. And then in the past few days, you switched things up, and I asked if you could stay at his house. And here's why you started asking. His sister posted a video in her close friend stories on Instagram, and it was her, my boyfriend, and girl he used to have sex with before he met me. Okay. They all at the house. You wasn't there. They all at the house. And he got drunk one night and pointed out to, out to me, and I never forget a face. In the video, his sister was shouting, my roomies. And they were at the house toasting with champagne. Now, when I asked to spend the night at this house, he get irritated, and I think something's up. Okay. Now, you you have a right to think something's up because you asked to stay there now, and he get irritated. Well, why would he get irritated? Let me just go on it. I can do this letter right now and be over with. I'll tell you what, we'll come back. We'll come back. I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to just sum it up real quick because this ain't nothing to this letter. I don't know what you want us to do. <laughs>
But after that, we'll do a reenactment. Shirley is going to start interviewing me, the boyfriend, uh-huh. about why she can't come over to my house, which has my sister in it and my ex-lover in it. And after I to explain this to you, Shirley going to ask me some questions. And I'm going to tell him, tell her what she been hearing from him. All right. So y'all will see the mind of a man. Here we go. All right. Thank you, Steve. Coming up. Uh, we'll have part two of Steve's response and a reenactment uh, at 23 minutes after the hour. The subject of today's strawberry letter is let's stay at your house tonight, okay? A reenactment coming up right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Everyone in our country has a voice. It's something that says not just where you come from, but who you are. Welcome to NPR's Black Stories, Black Truths, a collection of podcasts and a celebration of the hosts in journalism who've always spoken truth to power. Our voices are as varied, nuanced, and dynamic as the Black experience, and stories should never be about us without us. Find NPR Black Stories, Black Truths on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Jason Flom, and you're Maggie Freeling. Hey, Jason. Every day we learn about another person who shouldn't be in prison. 58 years in prison for a crime he didn't commit. So glad you're home. If you want to be part of this work, listen to Wrongful Conviction. The podcast where we hand the mic to innocent people to hear their stories. How do you send someone innocent to prison? Listen to new episodes of Wrongful Conviction with Maggie Freeling and Jason Flom on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. The second season of El Flow is here. Available como a ti te guste, in both English and Spanish. This season, we dive deeper into the vibrant world of reggaeton, featuring interviews with both reggaeton legends and exciting new talents. He's the undisputed king of reggaeton, no doubt. And he's been cited as an inspiration by multiple Latin stars, including... J Balvin, Bad Bunny, Osuna, Ati Natasha. Explore the evolution of this dynamic genre and what makes it resonate globally. How you consume reggaeton, how you share and distribute reggaeton, those are all an important part of the story. It's the way that the people are experiencing reggaeton along with the musicians. Listen to El Flow as part of the My Cultura Podcast Network. Available on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. I am the ferryman. In the shadows of the afterlife, the ferryman of souls guides America's most influential spirits to their eternal rest. You've been looking for me, yeah? Where are you taking me? Are you death? This road is not on any map. How much for a ticket? All I ask for in payment is a tale. These are the tales that shaped the nation. I don't know who got to Kennedy first. The devastation those first bombs caused. Then I told them they were drinking cyanide. (laughs) Featuring the voices of Wes Study. At least 4,000 people died on the trail. Martin Starr. President Nixon called me the most dangerous man in America. Scott Hayes. Next thing I know, I'm standing over the bodies of Baker Morton. My pistol smoking in my hand. And Tristan Mac Wilds. I've never been to hell, but I know intimately the hymns of the damned. Starring Dan Fogler as the ferryman. This is The Passage. Listen to The Passage now on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. All right, come on, Steve. First, let's recap this strawberry letter. The subject is, let's stay at your house tonight. All right, this 31-year-old lady been dating this boy for eight months. Uh, they live about an hour apart, so he comes over there sometime, and more and more he's been staying over the night. She allowed it to happen because it's cold outside and she want to cuddle. She has stayed over his house a few times, but there's no privacy there because his sister lives in the house that their mama gave to the sister after they moved out of town. Her <laughs> sister can't afford the upkeep, so now he in there paying the rent. Well, now, they've been over there a few times, but she don't like it because there ain't no privacy there. But then there's she switched things up and asked because she stay at his house a little bit more. Mm-hmm. And here's the reason why she switched it up. His sister that he lived with posted a video of her close friends on Instagram, and it was her, the boyfriend, and a girl he used to have sex with before we met. Now, the reason she know that is because he got drunk one night, pointed out to me, and I never forget her face. 
Then in the video, his sister was shouting, my roomies, my roomies. And they at the house toasted, toasted champagne. So now when I ask him to spend the night, he get irritated. And I think so much. And I think something is up. Well, now, when you was over there at them times that you spent the night, like I said earlier, you didn't see no sign that was another woman there. Most women can smell out another woman. There ain't no way in hell. She would notice if somebody over there with your sister. Three coffee mugs on the table, you know, three plates lipstick. there. Lipstick on every damn uh, thing. Uh, three toothbrushes in the cup holder. You know, stuff like this. You got to start adding up his riffs. You know. One and one is two. It's never three. It's never. never. <laughs> one and one is not three. Even if you add the plus sign, you get both. Yeah. You, 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 come on now. You, you can't even can't, can't do this. So anyway, I said to him, let's stay at your house tonight. He lied and said he hates his mattress and has to get another one before I stay at his house again. That was a nice try, but it didn't fool you. He must think I'm slow. I found the video by snooping on his phone so I cannot come right out and ask him about the girl. I don't want him to know I'm going through his things, so how should I ask him if the girl is his ex-sex partner? Well, he showed you the girl in the video one time. All you got to do is act like a woman and say, hey, I was thinking, you remember that, did you remember that picture you showed me? Oh, but then you saw her again on the Instagram. Ain't that the same girl that you mm-hmm. said you had sex with? And just let him explain it to you. So how should I ask him if that's the girl that's his ex sex partner? Could I be mistaken? Now, right here is the loophole that he going to jump in. Yeah. Because now you stupid because you done typed in the letter. I could be mistaken. <laughs> you damn skippy, you finna be mistaken if you ask me. You better believe that. Especially if I'm on my way to work and I hear this letter on the radio. Because I'm not going to hear where you talking about me. <laughs> But why won't he let me stay there? Why won't he let you stay there? Because it's already crowded. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people in that house. And if he lets you stay there, y'all up watching TV and everybody come in and sit down, he he, going to be sweating bullets. And why didn't he tell me a female lives with them? Because you didn't ask. You didn't ask that a female stay there. Why would he tell you female stay there? Because when you stayed there with him them few times you did stay there, you didn't ask was no female there. He didn't think it was important. They just roommates. Mm. Now that we got that out the way, the reason he don't ask you to stay there because it's proud. The other reason he don't ask, why ain't he tell you? Because you didn't ask. Mm-hmm. So now that you know this, Shirley is going to act like the girl that's asking her boyfriend about this whole situation. Now, I'm going to tell you how a man going to play this. Go ahead, Shirley. Okay. Baby, Um, I was thinking. Um, hey, what's up, was... girl? Hey, why, why don't we stay at your house tonight and cuddle like we do at my house? Oh, no, I could. You know that mattress I got? I, I got to get another mattress in here, but you don't want to stay there. Well, um, when I stayed over there before, the mattress was fine. It was felt like brand new, really. It was firm, I know, I know, everything. I know, I know. I got bed bugs now. <gasps> bed bugs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to get rid of every bed up in there. Okay, you just shut yeah. it down for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't you come go over on. There you, uh-uh. you come over there if you want to. If you don't mind getting ate up a little bit. No, no, you know. no. That that's okay. But but um, maybe um, I can go with you to get the new mattress, and then we'll get another one and bring that in. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Mm-hmm. cool. And then we could stay at your house. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh-huh. as soon as I get the money for the mattress and some free time, we're going to we go mattress shopping. Yeah. Oh, nice. well, how long is that going to take? They're going to have a sale in uh, March. <laughs> and so I March? Gonna, you know, go down there in March. I have to wait that long? Well, it's February right now, babe. I got to get, get paid a couple more checks. You know, okay, well, wh- why don't you ask your sister? Maybe she'll help you. Oh, uh, no, the reason I'm helping my sister out is because she couldn't afford the place her. my mom and daddy gave it to her. Yeah, that's why I had to move in, because uh-huh. she can't keep it up by herself. The house is expensive. It's old, you know, it's my mom and daddy's house. It's old. You know, I just really it's thought, it would be, house. <laughs> thought it would be nice, you know, um, you know, I change of would, scenery, you know, put a little spark into our relationship. Well, you know, you know it's more sparky at your house because we have more privacy over there. Even you said that in the letter. I mean, even you said that. Before. Oh, because of your sister. But we just have yeah, to keep yeah. it down, be a little quiet. That's all. And it'll work. Uh-huh. I like staying over at your house. Actually. But, you know, I don't want my sister hear you hollering and all that. You really no, I, I know how to keep it down. No, you ain't never kept it down. Cause I ain't but I, I know how, though. <laughs> well, well, you might know how. I don't. <laughs> I know, I got you. You hear me? Well, we're grown. It's not like she's our parents. We're your parents. 
We're grown. Well, you know, it's kind of like, you know, you don't really want to do that. Hey, oh, hey, I got to go to work. Hey, baby, I'll talk to you later. Okay? <laughs> hey, 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 look at the paper. See, you see mattresses is on sale. Post your comments on today's Strawberry Letter at Steve Harvey That's FM on Instagram and Facebook. Check out the Strawberry Letter podcast on the free oh, iHeartRadio app. Download it today. Coming up at 46 minutes after the hour, we got Sports Talk with Junior right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Everyone in our country has a voice. It's something that says not just where you come from, but who you are. Welcome to NPR's Black Stories, Black Truths, a collection of podcasts and a celebration of the hosts in journalism who've always spoken truth to power. Our voices are as varied, nuanced, and dynamic as the Black experience, and stories should never be about us without us. Find NPR Black Stories, Black Truths on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Vanessa Bayer, and this is my brother, Jonah. And we are so excited to have you hear the latest season of our nostalgia-themed podcast, How Did We Get Weird? Not only do you get to know me and my brother, you get to know the stories that made us the absolutely rad people we are today. Check out our episodes where we've welcomed hilarious guests like our friend Andy Samberg. That's it! That's really it! And Queen Casey Wilson. I really went cart before the horse. I said, I think I have an opportunity to interview Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> As a high school student. And you do not want to miss out on our funny segments like Change.Dork. <laughs> Change.Dork. And congratulations, you played yourself. Congratulations, you played yourself. Listen to our podcast, How Did We Get Weird, on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. It's Rachel Levis, host of the new podcast, Rachel Goes Rogue. This podcast is about choosing my own path and standing in my power. I have been involved with one of the biggest scandals in reality television history. We're gonna get into all of it. The good, the bad, the ugly. I've been keeping secrets for far too long and I just wanna come clean. Listen to Rachel Goes Rogue on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Hey, it's Alec Baldwin. This past season on my podcast, Here's the Thing. I spoke with more actors, musicians, policymakers, and so many other fascinating people, like jazz bassist Christian McBride. Jazz is based on improvisation, but there's very much a form to it. You have a conversation based on that melody and those chord changes. So it's kind of like giving someone a topic and say, okay, talk about this. Listen to the new season of Here's the Thing on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.